Hey guys, how are you here from the Art Gear Guide? Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, I've got a, a really exciting review here for you of uh, some Winsor & Newton colour pencils. Now, everybody knows the Winsor & Newton name. I don't really need to go into that. Um, they're best known for their, their, their watercolour range, which is just phenomenal. Uh, both student and artist grade. And, um, they also have a, a line of markers, right? brush markers, that type of thing. And they also have a set of pigment markers. Now, I haven't actually had a, the, the chance to try their pigment markers, but I've heard a lot of really good things about their pigment markers. But they've just recently come out with a line of colour pencils. Now, I don't normally do this, but because this is a new product and it's relative, you know, it's, it's very new for this company to be pushing this type of product out. I'm just going to show you what is new, what they've come out with. So I'm doing a review here of their coloured pencils, just their bog standard colour pencils. Um, but they also have um, watercolour pencils, which um, the reason why I did the, the colour pencils first, reviewed they, them first as opposed to the watercolour pencils, is I think if you told anybody that uh, Windsor & Newton were coming out with a set of pencils, they would expect them to be watercolour pencils. But So that was the reason why I chose to do just the coloured pencils first. But I will be doing these. I will be reviewing these as well. Uh, and then they've also brought out uh, a set of graphite pencils. Now I haven't had a chance to to go over these yet, but I will be. I will be reviewing these as well. So these are the three lines that um, Winter and Newton have brought out. In terms of the sets that are available, it's a little bit strange actually because. Um, for the watercolour pencils, they've got a set of 1224. For the coloured pencils, they've got a set of 1224 and 48. So the, the, the coloured pencils, they've got a bigger set range, um, which you would have thought it would have been that way about for the, their watercolour pencils. But, um, you know, me, this is very new. So they may come out with a, a, a larger range of the watercolour pencils. And for the graphite pencils, it's, it's just a, a straight 10 of 12. With regards to the pricing and stuff like that, that'll all be over in the Art Gear Guide. Uh, you know that's how I always do things because prices change, they vary and all the rest of it and I can change that uh, over on the Art Gear Guide much easier than I can on a video. Okay, so I have done some artwork with, with these pencils. Um, I used the Winter Newton markers and the pencils combined. Um... And I've done kind of like a Christmas uh, artwork. So you, there's images of that popping up on your screen now. You can see that. I also have a speed drawing of that. A link for that will be down below if you want to go across and see that. But uh, so let, let's get into the pencils first of all. So they come in this re uh, really nice silver tin. Uh, there's a little bit of information here. Uh, kind of like a little sleeve that comes. Um gives you a little bit of information about the, or a little color chart thing uh says here soft thick core color pencils premium artist quality high highly pigmented brilliant colors rich lay down and color saturation excellent light fastness um so that's that i i apologize for the lights and stuff like that i don't have any light diffusers or anything like that uh, and this is a silver tin so there's going to be a lot of reflection but um if you can see here on this little silver tin there's a, a beautiful uh, embossed logo of winter newton and then um i'll show you now some images of these pencils brand new i've obviously used these ones um With the artwork but you the, the images that you're seeing are the tins opened brand new you can see what the pencils look like they're actually quite a striking pencil whenever you look at it um and i'll just go through that with you now so the barrel of the pencil is um kind of like a, a really really light cool gray uh, it's really quite nice looking there's not a lot of information on the barrel there's a, a beautiful logo, the Winter Newton logo. It's silver, so it's been. I mean, like I've take, I think I've taken about twenty four photographs of this logo, trying to get it where there's no reflection of light coming off it, but it's really difficult. Um, 
but but this logo that Winter and Newton have, it's it's beautiful on on the pencil. Uh, they have the pigment name on the very end of the pencil, and then uh, a pigment identifier on the end. It's about an inch uh, of color, which represents the pigment inside the actual um, barrel. Now, in terms of dimensions and stuff like that, um, the barrel is 7.2 millimeter and the, the, the core is 3.7. So it's quite a generous core. These pencils sharpen fantastically. The wood is made from just the, 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 the normal Californian cedar wood. Uh, and I've also been told that there is um, all, all any materials that's used for these color pencils. It's all animal friendly. There's nothing to do with uh, um, like there's no there's no animal derivatives or anything like that there in these pencils. So that will be good for a lot of vegans and uh, animal lovers out there. So anyway, as you can see there, this is the first layer of colors in the 24 set. And then the second layer down here. Now you can lift uh, you can lift these two things out and then you've got yourself a, a nice little tin to store pencils in, which uh, you know, because I think this tin looks really really nice. Um I think it would be a really nice thing to have to store pencils and or erasers and um sharpeners, that type of thing in as well if you're gonna store these pencils somewhere else in a, in, a, in a pencil drawer or something like that. But let me just show you the uh, the swatch that I've done. So this is the, the full 24 colours that I have. Don't forget that these colour pencils come in a set of 48 as well. So there are other colours available. But this is the 24 set that I have. Uh, and as you can see here, as I do my swatches, I do kind of like a, a really light layer and then just bring it down into a heavy application. And you can see here that what they say on the sleeve is is absolutely right. They're very um, highly pigmented. Uh, they lay down beautifully. I was really surprised at the quality of these pencils because this is the first time that I'm aware of that Winsor and Newton have brought out color pencils. Um, and they, like I say, the quality of it is really nice. When I was doing the artwork, uh, although some of the colors was put down with the Winsor and Newton brush markers, uh, I'd done the background with color pencils. I'd done a lot of the detail with color pencils as well with these color pencils, but the back background in particular, uh, which was the largest part done with color pencils, you'll be able to see in the speed drawing how well these pencils blend, because uh, it, it was just fantastic. I was really, really impressed with them. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of testing here for you. Uh, I'm going to do some black paper testing. Now while I'm getting these uh, colours out for you to do the testing, um, if you remember when I was reading that uh, little sleeve out, uh, it said excellent light fast uh, on the pencils. Now there is no individual light fast information at the minute, but the lady that I was talking to from Windsor & Newton, uh, she explained to me that they have done um, they have carried out some general light fastness tests um, and, and that the, the pencils performed really well with those types of tests. However, they are doing more accurate testing, kind of like right now as we speak. Um, and so Windsor and Newton are going to get back to me as soon as they have the results of the, uh, the, the, the accurate light fast testing. So as things stand at the minute, they, you know, they're just saying that they are good light fast tests. Uh, pencils, but there's no specific information. Okay, so I'm just going to, when I'm doing these, uh, this black paper testing, I always just uh, put down a heavy application. So I've got this grass green. And all, all this test is to show you is uh, for those artists who like using dark paper, it just goes to, sh it shows you the kind of like the uh, opacity of the pencils or the opaqueness of the pencils, gives you a little bit of an indication how they're going to react on, on darker paper as opposed to lighter paper. Now I did try these pencils on some 
Bristol Smooth. I tried them on mixed media paper. I tried them on uh, hot press watercolour paper. They worked well on all of them. Uh, there was no paper that I tried this with that, that, that these pencils didn't perform well on. The, uh, the drawing that I've done, uh, I completed that on Strathmore <laughs> Bristol Smooth 400 series. Um, and like I said, when I was doing the blending and stuff like that, these pencils performed really, really well. Uh, as well as layering. Uh, the layering ability of these were, were fantastic as well. Um, so you can see there how, how bright and opaque the, the colours still come through on black paper. Uh, and then their white pencil. Um, which you can see there is... I'm hoping that this camera is going to pick this up with the lights. Just how um, bright that white is. There you go. I, I will have a, a still image of this over on the Art Gear Guide. So you can go, you'll be able to go across, have a look at it, click on it, enlarge it, and have a look at it and study it for yourself. Um, which is often the best way to, to have a look at these swatch tests. Um, I know a lot of uh, people when they're watching these reviews, they don't like having just a swatch test uh, of the pencils, which is the reason why I'm now doing the artwork and adding the speed drawings and stuff like that, because it's it's giving you um, an all round view of what the pencils are like. Okay, so what I will say about these pencils, I'm just going to show you uh, a little bit of blending. So let me just zoom in here a little bit. Okay, what I will say about these pencils is the core of the pencils is really, really super soft. Um, with, with someone like me, I, I can sometimes be a little bit overly um, heavy handed with colour pencils. And I found that every time I sharpen them, because they sharpen really, really well and they're really nice fine point, uh, because I was a little bit heavy handed with it like this pencil here is um really well sharpened you can see there um you've got to be very very light with them whenever you're starting off otherwise it, the, the the point will break off uh but that's to be expected with a soft core pencil um there is a little bit of crumbling with them. In fact, actually, there's there's, there's a fair amount of crumbling. Uh, I found that when I was doing my artwork, I was having to blow away little bits of crumbly bits. But again, that is um, oh, that is uh, to be expected from a really soft core pencil. And for those artists out there, those color pencil artists out there that really like soft core pencils. Uh, you, you will understand that that's just one of the things that you've got to accept with a, a soft core pencil that there is going to be a little bit of crumbling and that you do have to be relatively light handed whenever you are um, like layering down colours that type of thing as well but you can see here uh, how, how well the, the, the colours, the pigment of these pencils blend uh, and mix together so I'm just going to do another one here uh, this is their, their, their yellow. It's really bright. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like contorted over this tripod here, trying to get this uh, color laid down. So that's why I look a little bit cock-handed when I'm trying to lay these colors down. Um, but you can see, I mean, like I, I'm relatively, I'm using quite light pressure here. It's not, it's kind of like medium pressure. Um, and you can see just how how bright and vibrant these colors really are uh, this is kind of just a canson mixed media paper that i'm using at the minute so there's a little bit of tooth on this i, I have tried these pencils as well with uh two adult coloring books uh one's a windsor newton one and the other one is uh, some garden one um or not a windsor newton sorry um a derwent coloring book and um, they they reacted incredibly well on on that type of paper. If you're an adult coloring enthusiast, you'll you'll understand what I mean by the the type of paper that you can find in those types of um, books. 
Now they're black pencil as well. I know a lot of colour pencil artists don't like using black. Uh, they'd rather do um, try and make it up. But the black on uh, this set is really nice. Uh, it's really, really dark, really, really rich. Um, it reminds me of using... Um, if you've ever, if any of you have ever used any of the sketch sets, I, I've done a review of a sketch set and they have some carbon pencils in them, not charcoal or graphite, but carbon. And they, uh, uh, and those pencils give you like a really dark, rich black. This this pencil here reminds me a little bit of that, but you can see there, um. Just how dark that black is. Really, really nice. And you can see how well the, the, the colours have blended together. Again, I'll have a, an image of this over in the Art Gear Guide. And you'll be able to go across, uh, enlarge the image and have a little look at it yourself. But that's it for this review, guys. Don't forget, um, like I said, if you want to see the pencils being demonstrated, and in particular with the background that I've done on the art work that I've uh, supplied with this, uh, I'll have a link to the speed drawing down below. Uh, so go across, take a little look at that. If you want, you can fast forward it to the end. Uh, and I have slowed it down in in one of the sections where I'm doing the um, the background, just to show you how well these pencils blend and lay down and um, just work well with the paper that I'm using. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm really, I was really excited about these. When I reached out to Windsor & Newton, uh, I was asking them just some questions about the pencils and I was very fortunate that they uh, sent me um, the, the graphite set and the uh, coloured pencil set as well. But I think this is going to be, uh, these pencils are going to be really, really uh, a big hit, especially the watercolour pencils. I have tried them, but I don't want to say too much about them on this review. Uh, but I think a lot of people are going to enjoy using these pencils and really, really take to them. Especially especially artists that love the uh, Windsor Newton watercolour range in any case. To have a set of watercolour pencils now from the same company with the, almost exactly... In fact, it is exactly the same um, quality as the uh, watercolour paints that they do. Is going to be phenomenal because then it's going to give you you're going to be able to use these pencils for detail that type of thing uh, along with the the high quality paints that you are already familiar with from Windsor and Newton. Windsor and Newton's a huge name so for them to now start coming out with these pencils and obviously they've put a lot of time and effort into them uh, they've put a lot of they've made sure that they're not just getting in to um, a fad that's going on at the minute with uh, adult colour and book, that type of thing. Colour pencils are really taking off with a lot of artists now. Windsor and Newton haven't come along and just thought, oh, you know what, we'll just stick something out there so that we can get in on this. They've actually taken a lot of time and put a lot of time and effort into these pencils. So that's really good. Um, I really enjoyed using them. I would love to get a... Um, a hold of the 48 set i'll probably have a look at that after christmas uh and and use all the colors that that they have available because i've always said that when i'm working with color pencils a minimum of 36 uh 48 ideally is what you want to have as a number so that you've got plenty of colors for blending and mixing that type of thing uh and hopefully after christmas as well i'm going to try and get hold of some of the winter newton pigment markers because i get a lot of requests from people to review the pigment markers so hopefully after christmas i'll be able to get myself some of those anyway guys thank you so much for watching this review i look forward to seeing you again very soon don't forget, if you want, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Uh, if you follow me over there, you always get to know uh, some of the new pencils that I've either bought or been sent that will be coming up in upcoming reviews. So that's a good way of kind of like keeping abreast of what's coming on the Art Gear Guide if you want to uh, know what type of reviews are coming up. Also on those type of social media and platforms, if there's a particular pencil that you want me to review, just put a request in and I'll always see it. I always see these uh, messages coming in and uh, I will do my very best. If I can get hold of them, I will absolutely review them. But sometimes some pencils are really difficult to get hold of here in the UK. Um, and if you want, you can find all the links to the social media platforms that I uh, am on down below in the description box or you can find it over in the Art Gear Guide as well. Thanks very much, guys.
Bye.